In this video today, we're going to go over how to mod Skater XL. So that includes everything from how to install gear, maps, to scripts mods, which includes the stats menu by Dog Vinci, the walking mod by Fro, Fro's mod, the Bone Dolly mod. This video will go over every single mod in Skater XL, how to install them, where to get them, and even how to use them. So the very first thing to do would be to open up the game and to see what version of the game you're playing on because the version of the game that you're playing is a big deal. It matters because this determines what mods you'll be able to install into your game. So as you boot Skater XL up, in the bottom left corner there will be a number. And this version says version 1.2.10.4 and this is the most recent or the newest version that's available on PC right now. But that being said though, since this is a modding guide, this isn't quite the best version of the game to mod, so we'll be changing our game version to a different one, and we'll be modding that version out. But it's good to know how to do this and how to look up the numbers because you can mod this version too. So as an example, here is our working mod list for the public branch. And you can see there's about, you know, maybe 12 mods here or so. And if you switch over to the alpha branch, there's just much more mods to actually play with. So we'll be, we'll be switching over in a second here. Let's right click Skater XL in Steam. We're going to go to Properties, and this will open up a little tab here where we can go down to the Betas tab. And there will be a drop down menu within this where you can select Alpha Branch. There might only be a few options for you guys none, Alpha, and Beta. Don't worry about Beta, it's old news. And after you select Alpha, you can close down this uh, menu, and you'll see that there will be an update happening. And the next step will be step three, and that's to download Unity Mod Manager. And we'll simply click on this button down here, which there will be a link in the description down below to this website as well. And this will take us to nexusmods.com. All we have to do is scroll down to the main files, and there will be a manual download for Unity Mod Manager. So you're gonna click on the manual download button to get the most recent version of this application. You may be prompted to log in or sign up. You won't have a download option until you sign up for the website. So make sure you're logged in to your account and sign up for the, to the website. And after you sign in, you'll have the option to do a slow download. And then you can put this onto your desktop. So I'm going to right click the zip folder that we just downloaded and we're going to click extract, extract here and that will extract the files from the zip folder. All you need to worry about is the Unity Mod Manager application. So look for the name Unity Mod Manager and under file type, you can see the word application. It's 144 kilobytes and you can just double click that. So the first thing is we're gonna select the game dropdown menu and we're gonna find our game version. So there's two different Skater XLs. If you're playing on the public branch of Skater XL, you should be using Skater XL. But if you're running the alpha branch of Skater XL like we just installed or we're doing today, you're going to want to use Skater XL version 1.2.2.8. The folder is wherever your game is located on your computer. Right click your game in Steam, go to manage and click on browse local files. So if you expand this, you can see where, where our game is located. This PC, local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Skater XL. So that is what we have to select within our application to tell it where to put the mods into. So we're gonna go through this together. So local disk C, program files x86, scroll down to Steam, there, Steam apps, common, Skater XL. Now after you have Skater XL selected, you can click on okay. And then we're actually good to go. And the very last step is the most important step to finish this all off is to click the install button at the very top here. After I click on install, it's going to take our application and install it into the game. So now we have a current version and our in-game version is the same as our current version. It means that this application just installed into the game. So we're good to go. So the next step is to download and install mods. And it simply says, check out our mods tab for a list of functional mods. So we can go through each individual mod one by one and pick and choose what we want to download. Each one has a link to where the author posted the mod, but it also has a direct download link to their downloads. So this will pull the download directly from Dog's Discord. So it says right here, the working version is 1.3.3. 
So that is the version of the mod that we need to install or else our mod won't work. So we need to find that number and that version. So usually what you would do is head to Dog's Discord and we're gonna go find that mod. And there's a bunch of different versions here posted, all different numbers. We're looking for 1.3.3 and that is the most recent version down here. So we can go ahead and click on this, continue to download and put onto your desktop. This is very important to know because if you actually went ahead and installed a different version of a mod into your game, it might not actually work. So it's very important to match the number up from the working mod list to whichever number that is compatible with your game. That being said though, guys, I made this process this year much easier for you guys. So don't worry about doing any of that because you can go ahead and just click the download button. So instead of going to Dog's Discord, you can click on download and that, that will instantly grab version 1.3.3. So all you have to do is go ahead to Excel graphics, click download, desktop, sound mod, download, desktop. So here are all of the mods that I just downloaded from that website. You just click the download button, uh, put them onto your desktop and they come in zip, zip folders. And we want to keep them in zip folders because it says drop zip here in Unity Mod Manager. So all we have to do is highlight these and drop them into Unity Mod Manager. For some reason, when I just did that, and maybe it was because I did a lot of mods, it didn't actually install them. So I have to go through them manually, right click each one, install, install, install. So just make sure that the status says okay. Usually when you drag and drop stuff, it'll automatically do that. But just to make sure that everything is working, you want to manually install them. And this also works the opposite way too. So if you have a problem with the mod, you can actually right click it and uninstall it this way too. Everything says status okay. The Excel menu mod says download 2.6.3, but we know that we have the right version for our game. So don't worry about what it says there. And that is it guys. We actually just installed all the mods for Skater Excel that we need. And we can go ahead and boot our game up and get started with setting the mods up. So the first thing I'll do is press backspace on my keyboard and this will open up the Excel graphics mod and we'll fix up the windowed mode. Go to full screen. We can turn off VSync if we don't want it. You can leave it on if you'd like. And that's all we need to do here on the main page. And after that, we'll go to the preset tab and set up a default preset that will make our game look a little bit better than the default game. You could type in whatever name you want for your preset. I called mine default and we'll just uh, save that. I'm gonna click on bloom. Slide these to the left and then click on this to enable it. And you can see in the sky, it actually turns off the bloom, which is kind of useful to have. Go down to chromatic aberration next, slide to the left, turn it on. Motion blur, you don't want any of that, right? So let's turn this to the left and then turn this setting on. And then the last one will be vignette all the way to the left and turn it on. And you can see the difference that it makes. It makes the game look a little bit brighter and looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion. So this is the default camera that's in the base game, but we're going to switch this camera mode up to follow camera, which I recommend for everybody. So follow camera, we're going to go back to like 78 field of view. I know it looks really close right now, but we'll fix this up. Maybe to the 13, left and right, we'll go over. I'm a regular skier, so I'm going to go on this side, right? So maybe like that. That's pretty good. And that just makes the game look much better. So we have settings and filters to make the game look cleaner. We have better follow camera settings to make the game follow the skater better when I'm skating, but the game is still floaty, floaty vanilla XL. So the next step will be to fix our stats and stuff and even our gear too. All right, so let's do stats next. And what you would do for that is press F7 on the keyboard. So if you're setting up your own stats, guys, I would go through each individual tab, starting from general and work your way down. The main stuff though is pretty simple. So gravity at the very top here, you can go like minus 13, uh, pop force. We're gonna go to like 3.25, raise this up a little bit. So he pops higher, but has heavier gravity. High pop multiplier, make this a little bit lower. So 0.4, uh, baby pop, turn this on. In air turn speed, we can turn this up to like 1.3. Max velocity, maybe like nine or eight. Pop delay off, that's pretty good. Maybe push force down to six. Catch correction on, sure. Catch mode will be realistic mode. Flip mode, simple. We're gonna go to flip speed, maybe like 1.6. Scoop speed, 1.4. 
verticality 1.6, the coupled board on simple, vertical scoop on XXL2, and that's pretty much the basic, basic, basics of all we need to make our game feel more realistic. So we have heavier gravity, our flip speed and our scoop speed has been compensated a little bit faster to make sure that we can actually rotate our board now because uh, since you're, you know, raising or lowering the gravity, make it heavier, you have less time in the air. So you have to make, make your stuff a little bit faster so you can complete the trick, right? So this feels way better than default vanilla already. It looks amazing. So after you've found some good settings for yourself, you could actually go ahead and, and save your presets and share your settings with other people. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my presets that I made from a long time ago. So this will make my game feel the way that I want to feel. Just press P on the keyboard and this will open up the preset tab by itself. And what you should do, go to enter name down here and just type in some random numbers like one, two, one, two, whatever. Save stats, go to the stance section, type in some random stuff, save stance. Go to the C's tab, type in some random stuff, and go save, save C's. Doing that process will actually create folders on your computer where you can install other people's settings into your game now. So I made this section on my website here where you guys can upload stats, and I have my own stats that I posted where you guys can download them from. So I'm gonna try this one. Click on that, go to the download button, and then put this onto my desktop. So I have this zip folder with my stats in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extract this. You can get rid of the zip folder and you'll notice that it comes with a bunch of different files here. So there's a fro mod folder, there's a stance, there's a stats, and there's a steez. We need to put each individual file in the correct location. And that's pretty much it. Let's open up a file explorer here, guys, and go to documents. And then after you go to documents, you should be able to find a skater XL folder now. So, this PC documents Skater XL, and within this folder, you'll be noticing that there's a few different things. There should be XXL Mod 3, and that's where your presets will go. There should also be a Maps folder, that's where your maps will go. And there should also be a Gear folder, and that's where your, your gear textures will go. And if you have the XL Gear Modifier mod for custom gear, there should also be an XL Gear Modifier folder. So let's install these three right here first. These are the XXL mod settings. So we're gonna go to the XXL mod three folder. So the first one is stat collections. And all we have to do is put our stats. Let's so make sure that it says stats into this folder. I already have it there, so I'll click replace. And you can see here that that's our one that we made earlier, the random number that we typed in earlier in, in our game. We can delete that if you want, so we can get rid of that. So now we're gonna go back out and back into stance collections. So we're gonna select the stance file, put it right into there, replace, sure. And then go back out to the steez collections, put the steez into there, easy. And then the last one is froze mod. And this will have to actually go into the mod itself. It won't be in this uh, documents folder, unfortunately. So we can close this down, right click the game, manage, browse local files, It'll take us to where our game is located. And like I said earlier, there should be a mods folder here with all your mods in it. So click on that. And within the mods folder is froze mod. So let's open up our froze mod folder here on the side. And you can see it came with little settings file that we will drag over to here and replace. And that's my settings for froze mod. So let's install a custom map now. So let's go to this PC documents, skater XL, and then the maps folder. And yours might be blank, but that's okay. All right, so how about Majestic Park Reservoir by Sashko? Sashko is a really, really good map creator, and I haven't seen this map yet. So let's click on the download button, and we'll put this zip folder on our desktop. And then maybe we'll grab a piece of gear, so you can also see how pieces of gear work too. So maybe we'll grab these decks here. Those look pretty sick. Maybe I'll just grab this. So download file and put this into our desktop. So the top one here is the SkaterXL Maps folder. The, the bottom one here is our SkaterXL Gear folder. And all we have to do is put the files into their respective locations. So the first one is a map. We're gonna extract this from the file. So this actually came with a, a map and it came with a PNG file. So you can go ahead and just put this, these both these things into the map folder. 
and that'll be fine. For the gear, right click, extract. So this actually came with a bunch of decks. They're all kind of just free hanging out like this. So I'm going to actually make a uh, new folder. I'll just call them like mother, put these decks into this and then put this uh, mother folder into the gear folder. And the very last step we'll do here is I'll introduce you guys how to install custom XLGM or gear modifier mod gear under the helpful links on my website. I have a whole bunch of modder discords, map discords, and gear discords where people make custom mods for Skater XL. I personally love Spee's discord, so I'm gonna get a lot of my gear from here myself, but these other discords have a ton of stuff to download. And if I'm missing anybody's discord, reach out to me guys and I'll add you to the list here. For an example here, we're gonna go to Spee's Discord. So you're gonna scroll down on the, on the left and look for XLGM2 in brackets that says alpha. So there's mesh for 1.2 and there's 1.2 texture. So I usually look through the meshes because it has pictures of the gear. So for an example here, there's actually a custom accessory. It's called a swag bag. It looks like a Jansport bag, pretty sick. So I downloaded the swag bag. It's right here. It's a blank white looking file. That's that's the asset. So that, that is the shape of the gear, but there's no texture for it yet. So we have to go find the texture to make it have some color to it. Uh, under Adrian, the guy who uploaded the swag bag, these, these are all the textures for the bag. So there's a black texture, a blue, a red, and a green. There's also this weird looking blue texture here. And you do need this too. This is called the normal map. So we're gonna, Click on each one of these. We're gonna go save image as and put each individual one of these onto our desktop. I'm gonna go through the black one, save image as desktop. So we know how to do custom gear already. So we'll put our textures, the colors of everything into the Skater XL gear folder like we did for the previous gear. But the extra step that we have here is we need to find somewhere to put the, the assets for this all to work. So let's back out of this File Explorer here, go back to Documents, Skater XL, and if you have the XL Gear Modifier mod installed that we just installed earlier, you should have an XL Gear Modifier folder too. And there should be an Asset Pack folder within that, so we'll click on that. And this is where you're going to put the, the assets that you're downloading for the XL Gear Modifier mod. So after you have the XL Gear Modifier gear installed, your game might take a little bit longer to actually boot up and just wait for it to load everything when you boot the game up now. If you don't wait, it might not load your gear properly, but we can go to Edit Skater and we're gonna use the male standard character here. So we'll go into male standard. We're gonna use our L1 to go over to custom meshes. And this is where you have to do all your gear now. So under, under custom meshes. So I have a bunch of gear that I previously installed um, through Speed's Discord. We'll use these pants, the Dickies, Crop XL, different shoes here that you can't get in the regular game. We'll use some like uh, new schools. I like to wear these a lot. And that's pretty much how you can go about installing custom gear and stuff. This works for everything in terms of shoes, pants, accessories, hats. And to finish this all off, let's press P on the keyboard again and get my presets working so I can go to, uh, what was it? Milky October 2024 stats. Click on that. Stances, Milky 2024 stance. Click on that. Milky 2024 stees. Click on that. So the game is feeling much better now and it looks much better than default, obviously. And let's uh, make sure that our map works too. This looks amazing. So that's how you can go ahead and install pretty much every single mod in Skater XL, guys. Custom presets, custom gear. Um, and that's that's how I would fix my game up. You know, I went from scratch from zero to hundred. Anyways, everybody, leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on the video. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Later.